This is my Synapse uh, flying wing. It's an experimental airlines design and it's one of the first planes I ever built uh, and is a testament to how tough these wings are. It's still going strong after 12 months. Uh, I've dunked it in the sea, I've crashed it in hard many times but um, it just keeps on going. I use it as my permanent setup FPV rig now. Uh, and the purpose of this video is to sort of explain the layout of the FPV. I'm no FPV expert, but uh, this is how to do it uh, using the cheapest components. So for the FPV layout, uh, I have the uh, video transmitter right out on this wing here to separate it away from all the electronics, uh, just to reduce any interference and get maximum range. Uh, use a little surveil zone board camera here. Uh, that gets power from uh, the flight battery via the ESC. Uh, it goes through a little power filter, which is um, just a capacitor and a coil uh, soldered together. Very easy to build. You can solder it up yourself, no problems. Um, just look on the internet for LC filter. Uh, the FR Sky X8R receiver is right out on this wing. Um, got a vertical antenna and a uh, horizontal antenna for maximum range. So the FPV gear I'm using uh, is the 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz Boscam transmitter and receiver. That's an RC305 receiver and a TS351 transmitter. They're just the sort of cheapest basic um, transmitter and receiver you can buy. They're supplied with uh, rubber ducky antennas, uh, but I also bought uh, a circularly polarized uh, cheap antenna pair from Hobby King at the same time and later on I bought some uh, immersion RC uh, skew planers to try and improve the range a bit so the best signal I get is with the immersion RC's uh, then lose about 100 meters going to the cheaper um, circularly polarized and lose another 100 meters just going back to the rubber ducky the current camera is a surveil zone um, plastic case CCD 600 TV line uh, it's about a 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter camera uh, and it's really good because it's got a, a lightweight plastic case uh, which is sort of a little bit um, aerodynamically shaped as well it has a 2.8 millimeter lens um, which is nice and wide angle uh, it's probably not quite as wide as the Mobius or the GoPro horizontally but it gives a wider angle of view um, up and down because this is a 4.3 camera where these are 16.9 it can use the, the Mobius but um, it uh, reduces the range a bit because it, it puts out a little bit of RF noise uh, which interferes with the video signal but um, if I want to do some recording I'll, I'll pop the uh, Mobius on somewhere for goggles I'm just using the um, $30 quantum uh, screen goggles uh, from Hobby King which are absolutely fine uh, I'm never going to spend $500 on a decent pair of, pair of goggles I'm not that into FPV so um, this suits me fine they come with an F, uh, a Fresnel lens uh, that fits in there and slides backwards and forwards but um, I thought they were terrible uh, so I um, replaced that lens with uh, two plus four sets of reading glasses uh, and moved the uh, screen from inside the box to just on the outside and that gives me a, a lovely clear uh, edge to edge image uh, and I also uh, mount the battery on the back of a head strap that I made up just to balance it all out and I mount the um, receiver just on the side here like that okay this is the power setup so we have motor ESC that's just uh, the battery cable going to the ESC I've spliced in another little power cable here for uh, to power the camera and uh, video and transmitter and that's just the uh, ESC wire going out to the um, radio receiver into this power cable I plug a homemade LC filter 
uh, that's to filter out the noise from the motor and the ESC which would show up in the video so that's just a, a coil um, and a capacitor uh, soldered together very easy to make just uh, look it up on the internet and uh, you'll be surprised how simple they are so that just plugs in there then this uh, filtered power goes off to the uh, camera and the um, uh, video transmitter So it just connects into the wing. I also have uh, telemetry on my Tyrannus radio so um, I can monitor the uh, battery voltage and uh, power consumption. Uh, so this one just plugs in between the battery and the power lead and this, this wire here goes back to the um, X8R receiver out in the wing uh, that sends the telemetry back to my radio. And this is on the bottom of the wing, uh, that's the power from the LC filter goes in here, that sends power out to the video transmitter and to the camera, uh, so that's the wire that goes to the camera, so that's sending uh, video signal out to the video transmitter, as well as receiving power via the LC filter. That's just to connect the uh, current sensor telemetry back to the receiver, and that's power to the receiver. So that's my basic FPV setup. I have tried little backpacks where the uh, transmitter and the camera are just mounted all on one little box and you just plonk it on the CG spot. Uh, and they look, work really well for uh, slope sawers or close proximity FPV. Uh, and they'll get you about uh, four or five hundred metres, I guess. Uh, with this setup, with everything optimised and, and spread out as far as I can, uh, I could probably go, uh, oh, it's very hard to, to work it out unless you've got a GPS module, maybe 700 metres, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, so there you are.